The polyrib serpentine belt has become a favorite with vehicle manufacturers around the world, accounting for approximately 95% of new cars and light trucks sold today. But as with everything else in life, there is a trade-off. All the accessories being powered by the serpentine belt have to be located in one single plane. This isn't too difficult with north-south engines on rear-wheel drive vehicles, but with the east-west or transverse engines, engineers face more of an opportunity. Automotive manufacturers found it necessary to locate an accessory outside of the plane. Because of space, weight, and especially cost constraints, they didn't want to add yet another tensioner. So they asked for an elastic type belt that could be installed by stretching it onto the pulleys and then would maintain the correct tension. Deco Europe developed such a belt for Ford Europe that was first used in 2003 on the Ford C1 Sigma engine. It was called the Elastica belt. Now Deco introduces an aftermarket version of this belt with the name shortened to Ella, using the same construction as the Deco Europe OEM Elastica belt. Ella belts utilize a proprietary EPDM construction and polyamide tensile member that are designed to elongate over a fixed pulley system, then maintain the required belt tension over the life of the belt. Because Ella belts must stretch during installation, their length is shorter than the nominal drive length in order to provide the correct belt drive tension. For this reason, Ella belts are not interchangeable with Deco's standard poly rib belts. Installation procedures for the yellow belt also differ substantially. Here are the tools used. On the left is the Deco Ella installation tool, and on the right, a 3 8 inch wide zip tie. A specific application uses either one or the other tool, never both. Speaking of never, never use a screwdriver to pry an Ella belt, or any other belt, onto a pulley. A deep socket wrench or equivalent will be needed to turn the crankshaft. Let's take a look at how these tools are used on a few representative applications. Our first application is a 2009 Chevy 1500 truck with a 5.3 liter engine. The stretchy belt powers the AC compressor. As a safety precaution, turn off the engine, take the keys out of the ignition, and disconnect the battery. Since the stretchy belt is behind the primary poly rib belt, this primary belt must be removed to obtain access. The first step is to cut off the old stretchy belt. On this application, the best approach is to loop the new Ella belt behind the crankshaft pulley all the way to the crankshaft itself. This will give you enough belt length to then install the Ella belt on the AC pulley. Then, use the Deco Ella tool to seat the belt into the crankshaft pulley. Since this crankshaft pulley does not have a concave shape, the bolt is not needed with the tool. This is the Ella belt ready to be installed onto the crankshaft pulley. Place the Deco Ella tool snugly into the interface between the crankshaft pulley and the Ella belt so that the belt holds it in place. Orient the Ella tool as shown. Using a deep socket wrench, slowly rotate the crankshaft pulley. The Ella tool will slide the belt across its surface until the belt ribs fit into their respective pulley grooves. Continue rotating the crankshaft pulley until the belt is fully installed, then remove the Ella tool. To finish the installation, reinstall the primary poly rib belt and reconnect the battery. Deco recommends cranking the engine over a few times to verify that the belt is properly seated into the pulley grooves. For an example of the zip tie installation method, we're featuring a 2005 Mazda Tribute with a 3 liter V6 engine. On this transverse engine model, a pulley mounted on a camshaft is driving the water pump below. Once again, as a safety precaution, turn off the engine, take the keys out of the ignition, and disconnect the battery. To get started, remove the three bolts holding on the engine cover and remove it. This will give you access to the driver pulley mounted on the camshaft. Next, take off the right front wheel and unbolt and lower the splash shield as much as necessary in order to access the crankshaft pulley. 
To begin the installation, cut off the old belt. Next, put the new Ella belt into the correct position on the lower driven water pump pulley. On the upper driver pulley, mounted on the camshaft, thread a 3 8 inch wide zip tie through one of the openings in the side of the pulley and secure the belt where the ribs are first entering the pulley. Pull the zip tie as tight as possible. Now have an assistant slowly rotate the camshaft using a deep socket wrench while you guide the belt into the driven pulley grooves. After the belt snaps into the correct grooves, tell your assistant to stop and then carefully remove the zip tie from the pulley. Reinstall the splash guard, right wheel and engine cover and reconnect the battery. As mentioned earlier, Deco recommends cranking the engine over a few times to verify that the belt is properly seated into the pulley grooves. Deco developed the Ella belt for those specially designed OE drives that require a stretchy belt, thereby taking the guesswork out of tensioning these fixed center drives. Remember, however, Ella belts are not interchangeable with Deco's standard poly rib belts. Because of their unique design, Deco's Ella belts will provide the correct amount of tension at installation, thus providing worry-free performance throughout the life of the belt.